Summer continues across Texas here in July, but guess what? So the chance for some storms, some of which could be severe. Let's talk about them this Wednesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, it is Wednesday, the 5th of July, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Body and Chief David Reimer. I hope y'all had a good 4th of July. I know I did with friends and family, but let's get down to the weather forecast. It's actually going to be a little bit busy over the next few days. Certainly not a repeat of last summer where we had triple digit heat for four months and not a raindrop to talk about. I mean, we did have fire weather concerns out the wazoo, that's for sure, but we actually do have the chance for some stormy mischief across the state of Texas over the next few days. Let's just get down to it. First off, we're going to start with the severe weather outlook. Yes, don't normally have to talk about these in the summertime months in Texas, but we do today. We got a level two risk for severe storms. That's about a one in three chance for a rowdy storm within 25 miles of your location. That does include the Texas Panhandle along the north of Interstate 40, all the way from out west near Vegas. Amarillo all the way east through McLean Shamrock points north so Dumas Dalhart Canadian Perryton there you go and then a level one risk that does include portions of west central Texas up or I should say west Texas let's be honest here northwest Texas Texoma and a wee bit of the Arkla Texas that's about a one in 10 to a one in 20 chance for a ratty storm within 25 miles of any given location and this is going to be for the potential for a cluster of storms tonight that'll move across the Texas panhandle this evening into early tomorrow morning making its way into Oklahoma and it may skirt portions of the Red River Texoma and the Arklatex tomorrow morning. Main issue is going to be damaging straight line winds, especially in the panhandle. We could see localized wind gusts over 70 miles an hour. Maybe some hail. We'll have to wait and see, but certainly the potential for some storms to produce pocket change up to golf ball size hail. Maybe a bit bigger in the initial supercellular storm phase, but that's more likely across the Oklahoma panhandle. Maybe the far northwestern Texas panhandle and northeastern New Mexico. And then those storms will move southeast tonight. In terms of the forecast precipitation chances over the next several days, uh, this is for this af well, well, this morning through this afternoon. You can see not really going to have much to deal with through the daylight hours, or at least the late afternoon across the panhandle. But we are going to have the chance for scattered to perhaps numerous pop-up showers and thunderstorms across the southeastern third of Texas. Uh, Arklatex, southern north Texas, hill country, southern Edwards Plateau, point southeast including all of the Gulf Coast, at least the Texas Gulf Coast, the Deep South Texas, Rio Grande Valley, Coastal Bend, Victoria Crossroads, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle, Piney Woods of East Texas, the Brazos Valley, into Central and South Texas. Again, any of these storms this afternoon could produce locally heavy rainfall, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning, gusty winds, and small hail. These aren't the springtime severe storms, but these are the popcorn type summer storms that pop up make a ruckus generally rain themselves out within an hour or two shoot off a bunch of wind and that helps pop up new storms and that cycle continues until about sunset so we head into tonight you can definitely see we may actually still have some activity continuing along the gulf coast especially the closer you are to the coast but chance for precipitation also increases dramatically across the texas panhandle and then tomorrow eastern half of texas actually looking like a pretty wet day the potential for scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms some of which could produce heavy rainfall uh could see some gusty winds quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning etc so this will actually be a bit more of an active day again tropical type nature heavy rainfall etc but we could see a lot of them all right in terms of what the radar may look like today through tomorrow morning here's a look at the high rise rapid refresh model you could see pop-up showers and storms this afternoon diminishing as we get into the early evening but then we have those storms up in the panhandle that make their way south and east to nine to oklahoma and then notice we actually start off pretty early tomorrow with the thunderstorms developing inland from the gulf coast and that will only lead to a particularly active and stormy day but hey you know what if it's storming it's not 100 degrees typically so take a trade-off you can either have storms you can have 100 degree temperatures take your pick but some of us do need rain so well, that's kind of okay in terms of the forecast rain totals over the next three days this is 7 a.m this morning through 7 a.m saturday you can see it actually we are expecting uh potentially one quarter to one inch of rain across the southeastern 
third of Texas. And again, this is going to be pretty hit or miss as these tropical downpours are, but some folks could certainly see over one to two inches of rain. And of course, if you end up under a heavy thunderstorm, you're going to get two inches of rain in probably 45 minutes. But again, focal point for that does seem to be the Victoria Crossroads, Southeast Texas, the upper Texas coast into the Golden Triangle. But again, don't be shocked if different areas end up with locally higher amounts and some folks may get nothing. And then also we have the chance for some of those showers and storms, not only tonight, but perhaps Thursday night and Friday night across the Texas Panhandle, especially along the north of Interstate 40 by dog. And some of those storms could also produce locally heavy rainfall. In terms of temperatures over the next five days, it's hot, it's summer, but hey, if you end up under a downpour, at least your high temperature will occur earlier in the day with those downpours dropping temperatures into the upper 70s to lower 80s. You can see today high temperatures generally in the 90s, couple triple digits, a little cooler tomorrow actually with those increased chances for precipitation and increased cloud cover, mostly 90s across the state. And then we start cranking it up as we get into Friday and the weekend as our second heat wave of the summer begins. Upper 90s, lower 100s, plenty of 100s entering the picture by Saturday, and they become even more widespread on Sunday. Add 5 to 15 degrees for heat index values, especially across the eastern half of Texas where humidity will be higher. And we do expect a return of the heat advisory and excessive heat warnings. So make sure you stay hydrated, stay cool, you know the drill. All right, that is it for today's edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. As always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app, interactive weather radars, storm chasing video, your local weather forecast, and severe weather coverage when necessary. Otherwise, visit us on the web, texasstormchasers.com, and of course, the radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. Next Texas Weather Roundup will be out bright and early by 7 a.m. on Thursday. Update sooner if needed. Y'all make it a great Wednesday. Stay cool. God bless.